All right, so at this point you have 12 slices drawn and you've designed one of the slices. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tear this out of my sketchbook if it is in one. Um, it'll be easier to work with if you have these two pieces of paper ripped out rather than in your sketchbook. So a blank piece and then the one that has 12 slices with one design. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first tape my entire circle that has a one slice on the window and then lay your blank piece over it. And if it's bright enough outside, you should be able to see right through it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trace on my blank piece of paper an entire slice. Now this is the one time where you're gonna trace the outline of the slice itself. On the future ones, you're not gonna do that. Now get it right at this stage because if you make a mistake, you're gonna be then repeating that mistake 12 times. So go ahead and start going over all the lines that are in the design as well. And again, try to be as careful as you can. All right, so once you're done with your entire design, if you lift away the blank paper, you're gonna see that you have created a copy of your slice. And so it's pretty cool. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work in reverse. So I'm gonna tape on that blank piece that has the one slice, I'm gonna tape it on the window first, and then what I'll do is I'll take my circle drawing, I'll lay it on top of that slice drawing. And if I do it so it's the adjacent or the one next to it, um, I should be able to make that next slice look like it's in the wheel with it. So now I said earlier I didn't need to do the edges, so you'll see why now because those are actually on my paper already. So I just need to worry about what's inside. So once you're done with the second slice, then go ahead and rotate that top paper that has a circle on it so that it's right next to it again. And continue the process of tracing over it. When that's finished, rotate the top paper again and just keep doing that until you get all the way around. So as you can see here, I'm moving on to the fourth one and so on and so on. Just continue working way around. All right, so I move along, move on to the fifth one and then the sixth one. All right, I think you get the idea. So I keep working my way around, but at this point I can really notice what's happening with my design. It's starting to look a lot different it's quite interesting and I like how it repeats and repeats. So that will be it for right now. Once you get all 12 done, then it's time to take a picture, send it in, and then we'll get started on color on Monday.